Tomorrow is National Pepperoni Day, and for those of you that like pepperoni, you just might want to get a pepperoni pizza for yourself, right? Well, tonight we're taking you inside the operations of a national pizza chain with three locations in Erie County, and we're finding out what that means for the state of Pennsylvania. It is this week's Giving You the Business Report, sponsored by the Erie Regional Chamber at Growth Partnership. Anything else we can get for you today? A busy business, the art of making pizza. Cheese and pepperoni is always popular. We also have a serious meat, but we do have a couple other specialties. Like we do gluten-free pizzas here, and we do cauliflower crust pizzas, which are also gluten-free. Tyler Gleba is the general manager of Donato's on Erie's east side. What's made in the back can be eaten in the front. Space with local flair. There's even a private room for no fee, just a reservation needed to hold parties with food from Donato's. This is our smoked provolone cheese. And while all the pepperoni pizzas have 100 pieces of pep, there's also what's called Pep 150. Yes, 150 pieces of pepperoni on top. But there's not just pizza here. Sandwiches, wings, and salads are offered too. Donato's is big on variety. This Donato's location off East 38th Street in Erie is one of three in Erie County and the only Donato's in Pennsylvania. The 38th Street spot opened in 2020. It was the second Erie location following the one off Green Garden, which has been serving up specialties since 2016. And the third location in Harbor Creek is just less than a year old. Christina Vogel owns all three. Overseeing about 50 employees, She's the first and only solo female franchisee for Donato's, which started nearly 60 years ago, a family-owned business out of Columbus, Ohio. She came to Erie County with experience in the pizza business, but did her homework on pizza chains. For me, I feel like it's more about the employees and what we can do in the community. You know, I left everybody and everything that I knew back in Illinois, and so one of the reasons why I wanted to start the pizza places was to kind of create um, a community here, and so that's what I've been trying to do. She encourages pizza with a purpose, a fundraising program for groups in the community. You pick a night that's not a Friday night, um, and we will give you 20% um, of the entire net sales for the whole day for your organization. She admits Friday nights are the busiest as people order out, but no matter the delivery of menu options, it's all about the finished product. And that is a delicious finished product. We were actually able to take that pizza you saw in the video back to the station and enjoy it, and it went quick. It really did. <laughs>